All right. So, today we have our first streamed. Wait, yeah, first streamed Erisha Collar map against uh, Aberte University. Right now, we are spectating Erisha College. And let's see. So Ayrshire College is running a very rush comp as well, running very fast. Abate takes the first point. Ayrshire College switches up their comp to be a lot more defensive using Bastion now to rip down possibly the Rhine. Whether Lucy will be able to speed them out. Seems like. Oh, never mind. Lucio pops the beats defensively and they take hold. And Airship College is forced to reset to hopefully not get picked out again to not snowball. Now. They do have a nano, they use the dragon to push in a little bit. Not sure who they want a nano though, maybe the Orisa. Fashion <laughs> Pop's ult does not really get too much value. TP out. Orisa Pop's ult, possibly getting the May just about. No. Reese is pushed out. We might just about live. Trying to take. Oh. Both supports taken down. And it seems like Aberte has a full hold at this point. That was a very strong performance from Aberte. You'll have to try. Score. Zero to one. I'm not I wish you would. Now we have our next match. Again, it's very rushed. They're going to use the Symmetra to TP straight to point. And it seems Airship College's Murphy just gets picked off immediately. Shari trying to be very defensive against it. Tracer is maybe getting picked out. But it seems like Shari's not even getting healed. 
gets picked up by the Tracer. Now Ayrshire College is unlikely to win this battle, but maybe the soldier gets rezzed, but then the tank, yeah. Abertay takes the point. Abertay looking very, very coordinated against Sergio College. Now, Shai has swapped to Afara, which is quite strong against their comp, you see. The only real counter is really like the D.Va, maybe the Ana. Well, let's see how well they can use it. D.Va gets out of mech, that's very, very good. But they weren't able to secure the kill. Tracer in the back line, bullying the Mercy. Mercy goes down and it seems like Aberte again sweeps Ayrshire College. This is the one of the last fights here. If they play slow, then it'll be the last fight. Pinkie swaps the Reaper. That was a very big pulse by Matt. And again, it doesn't seem like, no, they get picked out again. Now, it seems that Abertay does have very, very strong players. Okay, but it seems like they might have enough time to push. Or maybe not. If Abertay just about holds correctly. And Ayrshire College just about touches, but it seems like they sacrifice both their DPS. Crouch struggling to hold on, but he just about goes down. And it seems like the first game is the Aberté. Now these games are best of five. So, one institution, each institution has to get at least three to win. So first point goes to Aperte.
All right, and now we are back with our second game. Not all of us are scientists, but that's no reason to be careless. Let me just swap that around. This one might get tricky. Can I count on you to watch my back? Of course. Well, I could run out You've told me about your family. Not sure that's a compliment. Five, four, three, the two, and I two, are one. My ultimate is charging. All right, here we go. So they are both running very similar. Never mind, actually. They have an echo, but it seems like they melt. They're really focusing down Crow. And Crow goes down first. Crypto goes for a res, just about to get it, but maybe it gets taken out by the Symmetra. And Aberte takes over the first fight. This, okay, so now Airship Call swaps up their. Mercy to a Kiriko to prop to possibly stay more survivable. Aberte is taking very, very good control of the map, and it seems like, again, Ayrshire College is forced to come back and give up a lot of space that Aberte has taken out, and it seems like the team is going to get snowballed. They need to reset as quickly as possible here, otherwise they're giving them a lot of space. Now it seems like Crow might just about be able to get out. Oh no! The rest of the team has a weight in here and it seems like they just might be able to get this point here. Seems like their Ana might get taken out as well. Now Ayrshire College really has to be careful making sure that they're really not snowballs here. This could get really really bad for them. The Ana gets the break, but then the Ana also goes down. Now they really have to regroup for a hold here. They really have. They have five minutes on the clock, a lot of time. They've packed. They've got almost four ults now. Not sure exactly what they want to do, and their Cassidy gets taken out. So there's their Ash. Again, they have to reset. Uh, they have to wait back in their spawn. It's a very good ult from their Sigma. The Kiriko pops their ult to try to be defensive, but they lose the point. They win with 4 minutes on the clock, that's massive, that's massive. Alright, now it seems that Ayrshire College is now on the offense. And let's look at their matchup. They've got an Ilari, which we don't see too much of right now anyway. 
We got the Mercy, an Echo, Sojourn. Not sure what Crow really wants to go here. And they're going very divey this time. I prepped all night for this mission. Well, maybe I gained a little too. Alright, let's see how this goes. They've got a Mercy, which does actually counter their Echo pick here. Now Pink she really, really has to be careful, and so does, so does her Mercy. That was a very good pick by Shy. They don't have a mercy, so then they can they can use that to their advantage. They TP to point. They likely didn't expect that, and their Larry goes down. Seems like they have to push back. Their diva comes out of mech, and they're forced to come back. They might get snowballed here, actually. And it seems seems they do. Their sojourn just gets just gets picked out there. This is not looking good for Ayrshire College right now. That first pick was really what allowed them to push in. It allowed their their Echo to have a lot of space, a lot of free reign. But it seems like they swapped their Widowmaker to a Cassidy. Now, Pinkchi has already built up their ult very quickly. Will he be able to use it to take advantage? Their Mercy goes down, gets picked up by the Cassidy. It seems like right now they're just picking. Trying to look for picks at such a distance. Now Pinksy is looking to ult, possibly with their Kiriko. But it seems like Aberty is being very, very aggressive towards their own eh, for to Airship College's Echo. Have to destroy their teleporter there. If they don't, it could be very dangerous. It's good. Now, Pinksy is likely gonna use ult, possibly their Sigma. Yes, they do. He just couldn't destroy their the Cassidy they missed the rock. Oh no. Haberte starts to clean up. And again, it seems like they might get they might get snowballed here. Now Pinkchi swapping to the Widowmaker. They have one more minute to try to make this work. They might just about have one fight to do this. Now Shy is nearing his high noon. Their, their crow might just be able to make this happen. But Seems like Aberty is being very, very reactive to Ayrshire College's movement. Can they get any... No, they, they weren't able to get any Elims with that bomb. Now it seems like Shy might want to use his ult here. Takes out the Ana, very good pick, but just about gets picked up by everyone else. Now it seems like game two is the Aberte as well. It does not seem like they can come back. And that's game two. Aberte was very, very dominant in that match as well. There's very strong team reactions in general as a whole. They knew when one player was actually 
overextending and they were able to take advantage of that very quickly. Now we will wait for their next match. So this last match because Ayrshire College lost, Ayrshire College gets to choose the next map. All right, now we have our next map. So it seems that I think Aberte, if they do win this match, or if they win this game, they should win this entire match here. Now, there was a player swap, and we now have Janet on DPS and we also have B Falco on support so let's see the heroes that they have up now it seems like Ayrshire College is looking for a nanoblade here actually and a life weaver with a bastion as well. Abate uses their Symmetra again. Now it seems like the Symmetra is actually really really strong and it, and it seems like Ayrshire College really struggles to get their turrets. It's likely what gives them such it's what it's likely what gives them their reactions. I think she nearly gets caught out, but just about gets caught out. Almost instantly. Crawls gets caught out. Now it seems like they might just snowball here. Again, yes, they Yes. Oh. We have a pause. I'm not sure exactly what is happening might be that a player is possibly disconnected or is having some problems. And then we'll be resuming. Now we have a swap to Tracer as well from Pinkchi. But their own Tracer is actually picking at them as well. So be very, very careful. Now 
will they be able to get a pick here? The Symmetra was low. He might be able to pick out the Tracer as well. The Tracer is extremely low. It seems like he just gets caught out. It's a big pick for Azure College. Pink Duke dashes on the point, but it's a little bit low. Four C's recall. Takes out the Ana with Crow. Can they also get to their Junker Queen as well? It seems like they might have to use Bomb here to solidify it. Only Lucio on point left. Very good performance from Pinkchi right now. Very good pick. Now it seems like Pinkchi just about gets caught out and this first point goes to Aberté. Now, Beef Apple now has their tree. Now, I'm not sure exactly when it's going to be too useful, but it will likely be used to just sustain in a fight. Sh Shy is probably looking to nano their Winston very good. Let's see how much value it gets. And Winston forced these primal to survive. Beef Apple is just about surviving, but it seems like Mike might get caught at a So it seems like Erta College again gets picked out one by one again by Aberté. Now Janet also has his ult on the Sojourn. Wow, Pink G gets taken out by the turrets. Very good reaction by Beef Apple. But that was a bigger nade by their Anna Rampage. A very, very strong performance by Aberté. Now, they have likely one last fight. They have to really rush to this point if they want to try to win it. It goes by really fast because it's flashpoint. It's already nearing 10%. Can they make it? And it seems like their tracer might be able to dash on to point. They get the, they got a pick on their tracer. Now, can Pink Chi just make it to point? No, he's not able to. But it seems like maybe... Takes out their supports, but not really. Oh, the Drunker Queen. Yep. Beginning to take other people out. Oh, these fights are getting a little bit sloppy. Now, Janet swaps to a Farah. Farah, again, is very strong against their comp. Mainly because they don't have much ranged damage. They've got a pharmacy as well. Though. Let's see how much value Janet can get with the pharmacy. Beef out has taken out, is in the open. Shy also gets taken out, trying to save themselves. Can Janet get the Symmetra? Doesn't seem like he can really secure the kill. It's taken out by their Symmetra. Pinkchi just trying to defend this tiny space that he can actually command. But he, if he's not careful, he can take it out very quickly. He nearly gets taken out by that bomb too. Now. Their Symmetra now has a one. Pink J is taken up by their Symmetra by a, by a ball and melee combo. Junkle comes out, Lucio comes out. 
Now it seems like these are this is very dire. Aberte just used all their ults. And Ayrshire College could not react to that. And it seems like Aberte has won 3-0 against Ayrshire College. And I think that is is that is us for tonight. If I'm not wrong. But Aberte was a very, very st strong opponent against Ayrshire College there. They're very react reactionary. And it seems like Yorkshire College was also caught out in the open a lot of times. And it seems like the game is over. Wow. That's almost, that's quite heartbreaking. But that was a very, very strong performance at Aberte. And I hope everyone who watched this stream has enjoyed the match. And well, have a have a nice night everyone.